We also hear that uh, Fergie apparently has offered somewhat of a subtle dig, suggesting, well, it was your choice to leave. Yes, that was very interesting. I think she's in a bit of a muddle what she feels about them because at one point she said she doesn't know Meghan, she's hardly seen her, you didn't know her, whereas Meghan said uh, to Oprah Winfrey, she taught me how to curtsy uh, as if she didn't know. If you look back at the Suits programmes, she was curtsying quite a lot, but never mind about that. Um, then she said, two few days later, how much she loved her and what a wonderful mother she was. I thought that Eugenie, who is a friend of Harry and Meghan, sort of nudged her and said, come on now, you've got to say something nice. And now she's saying it's their fault they left. So I don't know what, what she really means. But actually, they did leave. This is what they wanted. This is what they chose to do rather aggressively. And um, they're not happy there. They should by any sort of imagination, be content with their lives. They've got loads of millions. They've got a little girl, little boy who both seem healthy. They've got 14 bar 16 bathrooms in their mansion and lots of garden and near the sea. They, they should be now or moving forward, instead of which they're hanging on by their fingertips to before they left, the three years before, you know, stop it. Have a nice time. Don't make your life so difficult. But Meghan has to win, and she didn't win what she wanted, which was to have lots of ways of doing royal stuff, but also making money out of it. Or perhaps it's the other way around.